I just had to come by, holler at you, see what's okay. going on, man. I see you got your studio going on, you know, man. I'm always in the lab, man. <laughs> I'm always in the lab trying to crank out something. Man, what's the latest for you, man? What's going on? Well, you know, the latest is, you know, I have a, I have a newfound life in Christ. And, right, and, right, uh, right. Uh, doing my thing for the Lord, you know, and, uh -huh. and productions and uh, producing different uh, Christian and gospel artists. Cool, uh, cool. But, you know, I haven't forgot uh, where my roots started. Right, then, right, right, right. I know right. who gave me the talent. That's you know, right, that's which right. Is, which is our Father in Heaven. But uh, I know my roots started, you know, with the roots <laughs> phase up. There it is, there yeah. it is, man. Uh, how, did, how did some of that stuff come about, man? What was well, what was going on back then? You know, all through high school, uh, you know, I played in, in high school. had high school bands, you know, rivalry bands. Right, right. We had things back in the day, what they called show wag. Show wagons. These were little little stages on a trailer that okay. a truck would go to all the different rec centers. Okay. And, and, and set up outside. Uh huh. And your different local bands would compete on the stage for uh, 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 trophies. Oh, okay. And had a group called the Medallions. The Medallions. Yeah. All right. You know, all and, right. And, and we became very popular from performing on those show wagons. Uh huh. And we won trophies and played at the fair. Uh, we had go go girls like Jay <laughs> Brown. Right. Uh, right. That, that was the thing back then. Uh huh. And uh, what was real funny is like our our guitar players had those silver tone guitars. What it was it was. Uh, and for all the guitar players out there in guitar land know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's it's a it's a guitar case uh -huh. which is also an amplifier. <laughs> so they would set that case up on stage, pull the axe out and plug it into the case. People's like, what's going on? Speaker's about that big. <laughs> I had a little organ that sat on my lap. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> but okay. we, we was jamming, you know. Okay. So um and then from that as time went on, uh, I had to make a, a, a big decision in my life because I was very uh, good in sports, too. Oh, okay. Uh, football. And uh, when I graduated, I made the decision to stick with music. Okay. Back then, you know, I was weighing 138. I was <laughs> Right, right, so right. So I was fast, but I knew as time went on, you had to be strong uh, to uh -huh. play football. And as you can see in today's football world, you have to have strength and speed. Right, right, you know, right, so right. I was puny, but the little man is coming through. <laughs> right, right. You day, got cats you know, five Back ten. then, you would never know that. And your right. chances of making it to the pros wouldn't have been good anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I I, I went off into my music, man, and, and uh, uh, we had the group called Thazo. That's what's -E happening. Dash o. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. And uh, we were under the roof of the Ohio Players. Uh, and what I mean under the roof, meaning that we toured with them. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, without a record as opening act and people loved us. We was playing other people's music. Uh -huh. Sometimes people thought we were actually those groups. Oh, Sometimes okay. the players would marquee us like that. You know, <laughs> right. People thought we were Brit. We played the Brit song, so right, uh, right. Daz, Daz, Disco Jazz. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, uh, uh, Clarence Satchel who's deceased now, was the leader of the Ohio Players, mm -hmm. took us into the studio. Okay. And uh, in the studio, back in the day, you would, and I still use some of these methods now, you would record a lot of tracks. Mm -hmm. And then you would go to the best part of that groove, and that's where your song would begin. Oh. Then you would call out different changes, like go to A, go to C, go to B, go to D. Mm -hmm. Those were your changes and your bridges. As you know, in today's music, it's pretty much just a straight shot through. Right, right, with, right. With one change in it, or uh, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, also back in the day, you know, there was a lot of a lot of uh, rough edges going on. <laughs> right, uh, right, right, right. A lot of drinking, a lot right, of yeah. high. And uh, uh, riding high was derived from getting high. Hold on, I want to let everybody know. The man behind riding high. 
That's you. That's right. Right there. Right. When Riding High came about, the the groove. What what keyboard did you use? What I had a what? Fender, I had a Fender Rose eighty eight. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh huh. With satellite speakers. Okay. Satellite speakers is basically stereo speakers. Okay. I wish I had a kept that. <laughs> right. Right. Because those those Fender Roses will never die. And they right. Come back and eventually I pawned it. You know. Uh huh. Was, was, you know was on bad times for a minute, and uh, was sitting in. Uh, our apartment living room, uh huh, and was just playing this groove, uh huh. You know, the ride high groove, that's why there's no change in it, okay. And I probably played started that at 12 midnight, maybe 10, mm -hmm. went all the way to five or seven in the morning playing the same groove, just playing that groove. And my wife was telling me, Honey, please go to bed, please. I'm talking <laughs> here, now. you know, because I, I couldn't think of the change, uh huh. Uh, and uh, uh, I have to give props to my, my brother, Robert Neal, which his name was Biff. He was in the group. He co-wrote the song, too. Okay, you know, okay. Uh, half, of, half of the lyrics, but I basically wrote the track and uh, half of the lyric. Uh-huh. Uh, then what had happened was we had to go down to Atlanta to do a gig. Okay. And at the time, we had, like, Three horn players, which were white boys, uh -huh. and then the rest was the the Faze uh, band, which was black. Uh huh. And these white boys, let me tell you, they was bad, man. Okay. Doc Heron on sax, uh, Bruce on trombone, and I can't remember the trumpet player's name. But these boys were bad. So we went down to Atlanta, did the gig. Uh huh. On our way back, you know. I, Got high. <laughs> and me and John Karenberg, the right, same player, right, right, right. Uh, were uh, to take the first shift drive and pull in the trailer. Everybody else knocked out in the back of the van. There it is. I'm driving. Right. He's riding shotgun. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm listening to the track Ride High. Okay. So once the high kicked in, right, right. The lyric kicked in. So I course said, Jock, you gotta take, you gotta take the steering wheel. You gotta vibe that right. Write this lyric down. Okay, okay. So he takes over, we get to ride again. I said, I'm riding high. Uh huh. Oh, ride down high. Okay, okay. I'm riding high. And my body went numb. I said, I can't feel the heart. Right, that's the lyric, right. That's the lyric. Uh huh. I'm riding high. Uh huh. And I look back at everybody. And I said, I wanted them to feel how I felt. Yeah. I wanted to take them on a trip. Because I wish they felt the trip I was feeling. Right, 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 right. I'm riding high. And okay. All of a sudden, uh -huh. I had a gas build up. <laughs> oh, no, right, right. And I farted so big. <laughs> it says I'm riding high. There's a bunk in the tree. Oh, man. See, nobody would believe nobody, that's where that ass we come from. That, right. That's the truth. <laughs> Brother, you, tell you, too. you know, so, right, right. Uh, you know, and basically, you know, the first first verse of the lyric. But at that time, you know, radio was real uh, particular uh, and more tighter than they are now about what types of songs that could be played on the radio. Right, right. So when we got back uh, to to actually start recording the actual song. Uh, Sash said, you know, radio would never play that. Wow. You need to change it. Wow. So, the second verse initially was based on being high, too. Right. We changed the second verse. So, people who weren't in the get high world, uh huh. when they would hear the second verse talking about love, they thought it was a love high. Right. But right. everybody knows when you hear the track, Right, just, right. You know, See, a lot of rappers do that get, today. You're going to get you a 40 or something. Right, right, you know, you're right. Going to, you're going to get high. Right, right, right. It's just, just one of those songs. Uh-huh. You know, 